Hello everyone, it's your co-host Kyle Grantham from Ruby Geeks, and today we're going to be diving into the thrilling world of watershed delineation and determining that longest flow path within QGS. And we're going to be doing that through the external uh, white box QGS plugin. So if you're as passionate as we are about this content, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is bring in our DEM we're working with and then we're going to bring in our drainage points. Alright, I'll make these a little bit easier to see. Let me change that symbology, something like that. And then we'll change the symbology of this. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill these depressions with Wang and Lu. And so we're gonna run that on our DEM. We're gonna save this in this hydrology folder. And this is gonna be fill depression. So we're gonna run that. So when that runs, then we're going to run the D8 pointer. And that's going to be on your field DM. Let's save that as D8 pointer. Let's run that. And then this is when you want your flow at. Flow accumulation. And from that, you're going to run your field depression. We're going to save this as flow act. And then we're going to want to extract streams. And then you're going to use your flow at layer. And for this threshold, the higher you go, the less detailed, the lower it is, the more detailed your streams will be. We'll just start out with 2,000. And we're going to save as extract streams. OK. And so you can see. the streams that are extracted and from there we're going to run the raster streams to vector and this will be your uh, extracted streams and then your d8 pointer file and then this is going to be streams run that and then so we have our four points um, you can see one of the points is not snapped on the line so what you'll need to do is to ensure that all your points are snapped to the line we're gonna need to run the Jensen snap or points tool and so we're going to um, extract the streams. Um, we'll just put 50 in for this maximum snap distance. Um, and then this will be drainage points final. And so we're going to run that. And there you have it, it snapped your points to the line. So I'm just gonna copy this symbology so you can see. Uh, 
and say so there four you can see that um, and so from there this is when we're going to delineate this watershed with watershed tool so you'll have your d8 pointer and then your drainage point final and we're just going to call this basins so we'll run that <clears throat> and there you have it this one's white so you just can't really see it and then we're going to do raster to vector polygons and then this will be called basins and then, so there's your basins delineated we'll just make this little more transparent where you can see it's a little too much And then from there, we have our basins. And if we want to find out our longest flow path, you can run this longest flow path tool. And so from this, we're going to use our field depression DM and then our basins file. And we're going to call this longest flow path. And there you have it.